only put two batches on and I've already got quite a bit of that other step done and halfway of that step right there. inch take my 10 inch go across from the screw to the front edge of the step and it wants to, sometimes it wants to drag off as long as I'm just a hair lower than what I want I'm okay else on that step I got to get the rest of this out of my pan so I've got my other my next step ready go back up. Take off any high edges I think I can see. Got a little excess in the pan and I can I can just take it and put it where it, where I know I'm gonna need it. And then I can take my my inch and a half and I can just take some of the the wet and just load it on there and get my small screws underneath the stair. Remember? If I see any high high bits, I can I can just do that and it knocks it down. And if 
I have ridges that I know are lower than where I need to put the next bit, I can leave them. You can still see the top of my, my screws. bit I put on is going to be the last part that dries the, the longest usually unless it's still unless it's really hard I'm getting it out of my pan at the end but usually I'll I'll go over it and see it's hardening up already and I know I need to just work on it a little, just a little bit where I think it needs to be. That stuff I can't really use for for anything in there. It's too it's too hard to kind of push in there. I'm just not going to mess with it. It's not it's not much. I mean, if you think you can you can use it, you can push it in. I pushed in some of it, but I still have other that's that's too dry at this point. But I hardly have anything left in my pan now. See, look at that. steps I did that stuff's already that stuff's already hard I can't really go back to it and scrape much off I mean I already worked on it I guess I could if you think you you need to do a little bit of something you still can up to 15 20 minutes maybe up to a half an hour there, I can see it's just slightly, maybe high. The idea is you try to get most of it off before it dries all the way. Because once it dries, you think you gotta scrape some. See, there's a little spot right here where I could have done a little bit better job. Now I've got this that I've gotta sweep up, which isn't that big of a deal, but I've gotta sweep that little bit up before I put the next bit on. Whereas had I have looked at that a little bit more closely before it dried I wouldn't have to sweep again okay but see you can get like my steps you can get quite a bit done on your different ones and get it up to a good point and then you can check it and scrape it how you need to if so and I had that I had this little bit I built up I had a gouge right there before on an old step on an old step and now it's straight and once that dries all the way, when it gets nice and hard, um, I can take my wood rasp. Like I showed you before, how I kind of angled down 
the edges of all these steps, I can do that on this little patch. I can do some of it now. I don't want to do too much because I might gouge it further than what I want. Okay. I guess if I do that, I don't have to necessarily swoop it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going here. I'm gonna get that whole step and then I'm gonna drop back and do the fills. Fill it in in the back, in the back, in the back. You know, I got a long ways to go, but that was only that was only three uh, sheetrock pans and I made them about three quarters uh, full. Whereas last time when I was doing those top three steps, I was only doing half a pan to less than half a pan. And it just took me a while longer. Plus I wanted to explain to you what was going on and how to do certain things. But you know, when you're not showing somebody, this it goes a lot faster. If I wasn't doing the camera right now, I'd be mixing up the next batch. I would have already had the stuff on down here. Okay. So, anyways, I'm investing my time so that I can show you how to do this and work at the same time to a certain extent. It's still an investment, but once I figure once I get them up on YouTube, they're there forever for everybody to see and hopefully to learn from. See how much of that step I got done? Now mind you, it's still low. I still, I'm still going to have to go over it uh, a few times. And so I could, I could mix up uh, half a pan, a little less than I did this time, and know that I've got enough going on for this step. All right.